Hello, everybody. It's another Friday, and it's another edition of Edmonton, Illinois Presents. And today, we are excited to have Dr. Justin Smith with us. He is the assistant superintendent for middle and high schools in Woodstock District 200. Justin and I go way back. That was my last stop in education um, as a building principal. So Justin and I got to know each other back in those days. Uh, Justin, how are you today, sir? I am great and excited to be here. Uh, Justin, you were telling us a little bit about your initiatives in District 200 on college and career readiness. Can you tell our audience a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Uh, so really about four, probably four or five years ago, we started looking at what would be beneficial uh, down the road for our students that are going to be entering high school and what opportunities they have to take some accreditation or some um, different certifications with them. And we saw there's, there was definitely a shift in education from the really the, the math, science, and English that students would traditionally get into high school to really looking at how can we push the limits a little bit? How can we provide opportunities for our students to really gain maybe some college credit or look at different programming that we could be uh, bringing in to support some of our students at the highest levels, but also some of our students that just really wanna to go to college in one opportunity. So really three years ago, we made the commitment and we partnered with our local community college and uh, McHenry County College to identify uh, a way to provide students with an opportunity to earn a two-year Associate of Arts degree uh, at the same time they're earning their high school diploma. And the uh, outcome of that and the interest has been really phenomenal from our kids. So we're in our third cohort and, and really those courses mirror each other. So our students don't go out to the college full time. Um, they will go out there their senior year, and so they're going to have that transition. Uh, but mostly, we, we offer a lot of our coursework uh, within our buildings, so that way students can feel like a normal high school student in the experience piece of it, but in the academic component, they could be earning college credit while they're here. So what they do is they would do that. Uh, they do take college classes over the summer, and sometimes those courses are offered at the community college, just so our students get a flavor for what college life is like. Uh, and the courses that are offered out there incorporate students that are college level students. They incorporate students from different uh, area high schools. So it really is kind of that college feel to it. Uh, and it's led by a college professor and they earn those college credits. So our goal for our students by the time they graduate high school would be for them to have an associate of arts degree even prior to their high school graduation. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Can you tell me a, a little bit more about um, your partnership with community college? Do you have any other partnerships, um, you know, throughout the, the county there with um, other organizations or um, businesses, things like that to give students experience? Yeah, so let me discuss that a little bit. We really focus a lot of our partnerships with our local community college. They have been just absolutely phenomenal to work with in terms of their staff being gracious to help our dual credit teachers get started. Um, the administration has been very, very supportive in order to develop that uh, collaborative relationship to provide our students with opportunities to take classes out there, but also um, to, to make sure that when our students are in programming, they have the support of academic advisors and all sorts of different pieces that go along with that. So we do offer um, students an opportunity to go out to MCC during the day for our fire science program and our um, criminal justice program. So students have opportunities for that. We also partner with our community college in terms of dual credit courses in manufacturing. Students within our high schools would take classes here to earn their uh, certification for a BNA. So we do have a lot of different components to go along with that, as well as our 12 and 200 program. So our 12 and 200 program is really focused uh, in alignment with our community college. And we, we encourage and really challenge all of our students to take advantage of not only the AP, but also dual credit offerings that we have in District 200. And it would be great to see every one of our high school graduates earn 12 credits towards something they would be interested in the future. We know that not every student is, um, is somebody that's looking towards college. So some of the credits they could earn would be in a manufacturing um, type situation where they have additional program and coursework at our community college where they would earn a certificate. So what we provide in our high school is really a start to that program for those students. Uh, we also offer our more your traditional coursework too, where you would have dual credit courses in English, 
uh, history and science and, and social studies. So that way students that are more on that college path could earn those dual credit courses and, and credits for college and then either finish those classes out at MCC to get their Associate of Arts or transfer those credits onto a four-year college or institution somewhere. Those pieces there you just mentioned about the certifications in addition to the college credits, those are pretty exciting pieces. I'd love to hear more either programs, certification pathways that you have, or even some success stories of students who have attained or are on the threshold of getting a life-changing certification. So right now we're working with the state of Illinois and developing those uh, career pathways. And, and for those of you that are from Illinois or maybe even nationwide, you have maybe have a similar program within your district. But really, when we look at the career pathways, it's providing those students opportunities to earn some uh, college credit, six college credits, and uh, also then all earn some certifications, Casey, like you were describing, where students might have an OSHA certification or a food handler certification in our foods class. So every one of our capstone courses, which is the final course in a sequence of a series of a program, has a certification process where students can take away something besides the course experience and the education that they receive in there. And that is so important for students that really want to go down and continue with that pathway to be able to make sure that they have something to take with them and something to build on. And really for those students, we know that high school is not the end, it's just the start of something. But so being able to have those certifications to take to the next level and to build upon that is really key for our students as they leave us and graduate and move beyond District 200 into their, into their post-secondary uh, situations. I will agree to that. And I will say amen to the amen corner photo over your shoulder. And it's been a pleasure hearing you talk about all the wonderful things going on in Woodstock. At Minton, Illinois, today we've had Dr. Justin Smith with us, Assistant Superintendent for Middle and High School Education in Woodstock, and it has been our pleasure. Thank you, Justin. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the opportunity to share about our district. Thanks, Justin.